All right, this is Jojo. She's a miniature poodle that I groom, and I'm gonna show you how to do a sweetheart pet trim. Okay, now I've done all of her feet, so now I'm gonna show you how to do uh, their face. Uh, you've probably seen me do it in other videos, but it's, it's basically the same for just about any dog you wanna clean your face. Call it poodle face though, because that's in their standard to get a short face. So I'm going to use a 10 or 15 blade, and I'm going to take it in reverse, starting at the ear canal here, towards the nose, okay. Watch the temperature of your blade. Make sure your blade's not getting too hot. I recommend if you've got a two-speed clipper like I do, keeping it on the lower speed when you're doing a face keeps your blade from getting hotter as fast. Again, I'm not doing her corners of her eyes yet because of how much debris she has. I'm going to wash that off first. Okay, I'm going to show you how to put your pattern now on the back of your poodle. Um, it's hard kind of to describe and show and do at the same time. So I'm going to kind of try and describe it real quick and then I'll put the camera down over there and you may not be able to see it perfectly but then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Um, you just want to find the center of the back. Jojo will stand up here. She kind of has issues with being moved around. She'll kind of stiffen up and fall down if you try to move her too much. Okay, you want to find the middle of your dog's back, which I like to take the tail, pull it out straight, follow it back with my finger, and you found the middle. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take your clipper, okay, with your skinny little blade on it and you're going to start at an angle and you're going to move up like this and take it down around the belly and then you're going to do the same thing in this direction you want to keep your blade at an angle and that creates the point of the heart and, it, and in the end what will happen is you'll have a little heart shape back here which I'll show you in just a second. I'm going to let you watch do it, which you probably won't won't see what I'm doing very well. I hate to say that, but I don't have a cameraman today, so you're probably not going to see very very well what I'm doing, but like I said, I'll show you again what it looks like when I'm done. So, anyway, put you back over here. Okay. Now, take my blade. Turn around here so I can see you're good. You can see, it's hard to tell right now because this stuff is all still real fluffy. After the bath, I'll clip her down and I'll scissor this stuff, but you can kind of see how it's in the shape of a heart right there, a little bit. Kind of not the greatest lighting either. But anyway, that is basically what it should look like when you get done clipping it. I like to do it before bath, that way that place gets extra clean and your mark is set when you're done 
when you get them out of the bath and you can just take them in there and get them done. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do what I call, well, I just call it the collar, but that's where the collar goes. And uh, in this particular dog, on this haircut, we cut that short. So I'm going to take the same blade I used on our face, which is either a 10 or a 15 blade. And you want to find, you want to have the dog stand naturally and find where their neck basically meets their shoulder blade. And you do not want to go past that. That looks really funny. So you want to, if, if anything, you want to stay further up here than down here. You just want to basically make it right in that area. You want to take your 10 or 15 blade at a reverse up towards the head. And this is going to be short, just like the face. And this is also the blade I use for sanitary trims and the tops of the paw pads. Now, you've already put the face, so we're just doing a little portion of the neck in front here. Okay, she's kind of funny about being moved, so I'm going to try and turn her around without her flattening. <laughs> Oh, what a good girl. Okay. See what I did flatten. Okay. Now, continue around this side. Same place. Same distance. This is a good thing for poodles. If you keep your, your collar on your poodle, your poodle collar on at all times, and it gets real matted in there, this is a good way to alleviate that. You don't have to shave your whole dog, but at the same time, this is nice and short. On a poodle, it doesn't look funny at all. Um, looks nice, I think. Keeps their neck nice and clean and keeps that color from matting the hair up there. So, that is basically, oh, I guess I should show you their tail too. Let's turn her around here so you can face the camera. Now, I use the same blade, the 15 or the 10, and what you want to do, she's got a full tail. She doesn't have a docked tail. Most poodles have a docked tail. But either way, what you do is you find the center of the tail, the real tail. You pinch down and find out where the end is, and you take the center, and that's where I clip to, or from, I guess, because I take it in reverse. So you want to take the 10 or 15 blade, find the very middle, Clip it a reverse towards the body. Tails are very sensitive, so you want to have a very light touch. Very light touch when you do this. Not much skin contact at all. Very gently. All the way down to their bum. You want to clean the bum too for sanitary reasons. And this is something that I like to do very last. And then I clean my blade between each dog. That way, you know, keeps each dog clean from other dogs being from their own dirty parts. <laughs> you wanna go as far as when you move the tail up, that little area where the tail starts to leave the body, you don't want to go any further than that. It looks kind of funny. Gives them kind of a bad wing bum if you go too much further than that. But you want to clear that area just a little bit so that when they bend their tail, that, that hair there doesn't get matted. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to bathe her, and I'll come back and show you how we clip her body and scissor her top knot and finish up her band here, sweetheart cut.